Hey friends, Aaron Dowd here with another screencast tutorial. Isotope is having a sale on their RX Elements plugins, uh, and I'm a big fan of these plugins. You can get them for $29.99 right now on sale. I think they're normally like $129, brand new. So I wanted to create a, a, a quick screencast tutorial to demonstrate how I use these plugins in some of the projects that I work on uh, to clean up background noise and to declip uh, audio files that have been recorded too hot uh, with clipping on them, which is distorted, just doesn't sound very good. So there's two plugins in the RX Elements plugin pack that I particularly want you to pay attention to. It's the Dialog Denoiser and the Declipper. So let's talk about the Denoiser first. Uh, this is a plugin which, when you throw it on a track that has some background noise, will do a really great job of cleaning it up. And the cool thing about this plugin is that it's super easy to use, just two sliders to adjust like the level and then the intensity of the de denoising. So what I found works really well for tracks that have like um, background noise, like line noise or like a fan noise or an AC noise is to actually stack multiple uh, denoiser plugins on the track with low settings. So this basically cleans them up a little bit at a time. It works really well. So let me demonstrate. Uh, in order to demonstrate, I have pulled my beautiful little fan right here and I'm just gonna point it at my audio track, or it's pointed at my microphone while I record an audio track, so it'll sound like this. It's a, li <laughs> it's a little bit dramatic, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just gonna set it right here on the desk. <laughs> this is terrible, I've gotten audio tracks that sound like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and record a track so I can show you how I would clean it up. Yeah, so that's pretty, that's pretty nasty. That's, that might be a little bit, well, we can just, we, we can just leave it like that. <laughs> Gotta turn off the metronome. Okay, so this is an audio file recorded with some fan noise on it. It's probably gonna be pretty horrendous, so we'll see how well Isotope's Dialog Denoiser does when cleaning up, uh, in cleaning up this audio file. All right, now that we got that taken care of and recorded, let's listen back. Um, Okay, so this is an audio file recorded with some fan noise on it. It's probably going to be pretty horrendous, so we'll see how well Isotope's Dialog Denoiser does when cleaning up, uh, in cleaning up this audio file. So that, that's actually not bad because this microphone is awesome. <laughs> like having a fan right here pointed right at the mic and it's still like not quite noticeable. Sure Beta 87A everyone get one like 150 bucks to use love it okay uh but either way let's uh let's clean this up you know what like i, I actually just i want to record i'm going to record another file i'm going to record me pointing this thing right at the mic all right hang on this fan so okay that should be that should... <laughs> All right, let's do this right here. All right, so this will just be noise and this will be talking. This will give us an idea of uh, what the different things sound like. Yeah, it sounds like a thunderstorm or something. It's bad. But if you have a, if you have a cheaper microphone, your recordings might sound like that. Uh, or input gain levels. There's a lot of reasons it might sound like that. Anyways, let's get into it. Uh, so first thing I need to do is I, will, I can either use the inspector. I'm going to use the mixer. So I hit X to bring up the mixer and whatever audio program you're using, you just have to make sure that you can use um, plugins and I won't go into that here, but you'll want to go and insert a plugin on this track or an effect, I guess. So I'm looking for audio units isotope and I have the dialogue denoise right here. And this is from the RX5 program, but it's basically the same plugin. It works the same way. So let's open this up right here and you'll see that we have threshold right here and reduction right here. So when I play this file back, I'm gonna loop it. You'll see that this line right here indicates the level of noise. That's the, yeah, that's the noise right there. So you might be tempted to like crank this up and that can work all right. It's not gonna sound horrible, um, but if there's like, if there's dialogue, it'll kind of, eh. I don't know. It does this weird thing to the dialogue where it'll sound a little bit muffled in a weird way. With some fan noise on it, it's probably going to be pretty horrendous. So we'll see how well Isotope's Dialog Denoiser does when cleaning up, uh, in cleaning up this audio file. So that's not bad, right? I still hear it a little bit. If we turn it on and off. 
pretty great. I mean, like that's that's totally fine right there. But what I found works really well is to drop these about half, and then uh, copy it and use a, a, another one with exactly the same settings. So you got like two doing processing, and that sounds like this fan noise on it, it's probably going to be pretty horrendous. So we'll see how well Isotope's Dialog Denoiser does when cleaning up, uh, in cleaning up this audio file. So that's pretty good, right? If you're listening carefully. Recorded with some fan noise on it, it's probably going to be pretty horrendous. So we'll see how well Isotope's Dialog Denoiser does when... Yeah, so that is why I love the Dialog Denoiser plugin. Uh, dialog denoise plugin, I guess. Okay, now I'm going to show you the declip plugin. I'm going to delete these real quick. And I apologize, but I'm going to have to turn up the input gain on my interface to make my recording clip. So this is going to sound like crap for a second. My apologies. Why is that metronome still happening? Okay. All right, so this is a good input gain level right here getting levels coming in actually a little bit hot. I might turn this down, but it, but it sounds pretty good. But if I crank this and this might happen, if someone sends you an audio file uh, of their recording and, and they don't know how to set the input gain levels or they get too close to the mic or they just yell, it'll sound like this. So this is me and this is going to be really terrible. Ah, like just bad. Okay. So let me adjust this back to normal recording levels right there. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Negative 12 is what we're aiming for. Uh, maybe a little bit higher if you're comfortable with your mic technique. So we have this right here. Let me delete all this. This is clipped. This audio file is clipped. This is going to sound like poop. I don't even want to listen to it, but I'm going to anyways. It'll sound like this. So this is me, and this is going to be really terrible. Ah! Like just bad. Okay. So just over, like blown out and just not enjoyable to listen to. Well, the Isotope declip plugin will help that a little bit. It's not going to make it perfect, but let's listen again. It'll sound like this. So this is me, and this is going to be really terrible. Ah! Like just bad. Okay. So two things I need to do here. One is I need to turn this track down uh, so that it's not as loud. And so to kind of mix it with the other tracks, especially if the other tracks are recorded at a decent level, this one's going to be way, way louder. So I can turn that down, but I also want to, well, actually I can do that right here. Hang on. That's the cool thing about this plugin. Uh, you have your threshold. So you set that depending on where your levels are somewhere around uh, negative one DB, set that to medium uh, post limiter. So it limits anything that goes higher than that. And then you can turn the input or the output gain down just a little bit. So I'll turn the output gain down, say like five dB and see how that sounds. It'll sound like this. So this is me and this is going to be really terrible. Ah, like just bad. Okay. So not great, but again, before it was this. So this is me, and this is going to be really terrible. Ah, like just bad. Yeah, no, no good. So the declip plugin, that's how I use it. It works really well. Those two plugins, the declipper and the denoise, uh, have saved my butt a bunch of times and helped me fix audio files that were otherwise fairly screwed up. Um, it just makes everything sound cleaner and your listeners will appreciate that. So again, my name is Aaron Dowd. If you have any questions, let me know. You can email me, Aaron, at simplecast.com or leave a comment in the video section below. The comment section, uh, hit subscribe. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Head over to Isotope. Uh, was it Isotope.com? I'll drop a link in the, in the description below. Have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.